Raptor Adventure Raptor Adventures Raptor Adventures Raptor Adventures Subscribe Smash that like button And we'll see you on our next Raptor Adventure Beautiful gardens this way to the Rosen Crown Pub. We have arrived in England at Epcot's Rosen Crown Pub, and we are going to be among the first to enjoy tea. What's going on, adventurers? We are at Epcot in England, the Rosen Crown Pub, and we are getting ready to go in for tea time. It's tea time. It's nine. Is it? What time? It's nine sixteen. It's nine forty-five somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. Here is the check-in area. Do you mind if I film you? Oh, absolutely. We're so excited. Yeah, I'm excited. The very first tea. The beautiful setups. Very nice. We've got the point prize and we sit on these two tables right here. Okay. And they have a little tea timer. This tells you exactly how long you need to wait for the tea to steep. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. Here are the selections of tea. Very exciting. Here's our little place setting. Keeps a little tea time. <laughs> I bring that. Yes, nice. She's smarter. Do she to Molly? She is uh, one of our cast members from our merchandise location that knows a lot about tea, and she's going to have a lot of fun sharing that with you today. So, Molly, thank you. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Ed Cox, Big UK Pavilion, and the Luke Rosen Crown Pub. Thank you for joining us today for our very first Twining's tea tasting session. As it's the first session, when I say to you that you're going to be the best part of this ever, you know I'm not going to be Because apart from my roommate, who are a sick of drinking about tea, you are my first audience. So you are going to be the best ever. So today's tea tasting, we're going to be trying a few different teas. You can see them all sat out in front of you. I know you're probably all really excited and you want to touch everything. Please join, we're all going to go through it together. I'm going to give you instructions on when to pour your tea, how long to steep it for, etc. Now, can we all find the most responsible person on the table? They're going to be in charge of the fancy little timers that we've got out there. That's going to give us an idea of how long to steep our tea for. So if somebody wants to take care of that, be in charge of it. So the tea tasting we're doing today is all going to be provided by Twinings. Now, Twinings was started in 1706 by a man called Thomas Twining. My name is Hannah, and my favourite tea is the chai. I love the different spices that are used with, um, within it, and I really like it at Christmas time, so that's my personal favourite. Hi, my name's Alice. I'm from Chester, like the north of England. Uh, my favourite tea is green tea. Um, I like it. I like the one that we have with a little bit of fruit in there. I never used to like green tea until I learned that if you only brewed it for like a certain amount of time, and then I was like, it's a revelation. Green tea. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my favourite tea. So you'll enjoy that one. Good morning, guys. My name's Joseph. I'm from Fulbright, Scotland, so just outside Edinburgh. My favourite type of tea is going to be an English breakfast. It's just something that gets you started for the day. I like mine's pretty sweet, so you'll probably see me put like three sugars in there. <laughs> a lot of people turn their nose up it, but I blame my gran. So. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name's Rachel. I'm the last the one that family here. Um, I'm from Middlesbrough, which is a small town in the northeast of England. My favourite tea is green tea with a little bit of lemon and a little bit of honey because it's sweet like me. Okay. <laughs> Has anyone got any questions so far? What time is tea time, actually? <laughs> really? Like, there's not like a set? There is no specific tea time. It's all the time. Okay, good to know. So Thank we you. We drink tea in the morning. We drink tea in the afternoon. We drink tea in the evening. I know a lot of people avoid caffeine before bed. I don't. I will still be drinking my caffeinated tea right before bed. We just drink it all the time. If you visit us over in, in 
our merchandise location, <coughs> every Evergreen at Cape Cod, we have some little passports that people go around to each country with that you get stamped and we write a little message for them. In the time of entry that's in there, we always write tea time. <laughs> I say. It's not just because I'm not wearing a watch, it's because it's always tea time. <laughs> There's no right or wrong time to drink tea. Hi <laughs> guys, good morning. How are you all? Yes. 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 Good. Welcome to the Rose and Crown. Are we all excited? Yes. yes. Ready to try some tea? Okay. As well. Our little teapot just arrived. And then fill your water all the way to the top. I think I'm in science lab. Do you want to add any milk or anything? There we go. So we have chai, and English breakfast, add hot water, perfect little tea box. Here's our responsible tea person, our timer person. <laughs> Not everybody's ready yet. How's holding it up? No, uh, she said fill it up, yeah. however much you want to guess. Here we go. So it looks like your timers are about to run out. If you want to start removing your tea bags, bring a good glasses. There is just a little dish on the side for you to place that in if you don't have a mess. What I would recommend is just give it a try. As it is, you can really taste the flavor of each of those teas. And then once you give it that initial try, if you want to add any milk, sugar, or anything like that, you can adapt it to suit your personal palate. Right. So this is the English breakfast tea. It's really hot. It smells very good. There's no here. It's actually pretty good without anything in it. It's strong? Um, no, no, it's not. It's not like an overwhelming flavor at all. Let me try your chai. Yeah, let me try my chai. Does anyone have any questions? This is the pumpkin spice chai. <laughs> yeah, it smells good. It's very good too. Yeah. Try it with um, milk or no? And the funny thing is, I normally don't like the English breakfast tea at all. Like I've had it before. No. It was not my cup of tea. This, <laughs> um, this is very good. That probably wasn't steeping it for the right amount of time. I'm gonna try it and then I'm gonna put the milk in mine. No, try it first without. Yeah, I'm gonna try it first without. Mm. Very good. Let's try what they recommend. Don't ruin it. Just a tad. <laughs> Just a splash of milk. Feel good. It doesn't really take away from it. You try your chai. Makes you feel good. Yeah. <laughs> Nope, I can tell you're the pumpkin spice girl. I have to make it my pumpkin pie. If you don't know about pumpkin, this is very good. It would go very well with a pumpkin pie. So, one lump or two? I don't put sugar in mine. You want sugar? I do. I'm gonna try it. Let's try one more. Mm, breakfast tea. Mm -hmm. Let's see, that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the chai is your favorite so far? I think it was the timing, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I just never realized how much the timing... It, it has much more room than if you just leave the bag. And... Right. I've had chai tea, but this is, this you can smell. Spice more. The five, it's the five minute before. Five yeah. or six minutes for chai. Yeah. This is right up my alley. Mm, it's cold. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So it makes it a bit more universally appealing. So I encourage you to all go ahead and give it a try. 
This is a lady gray, yes. This is a lady gray iced tea. It is an earl gray basically with some citrus flavor and it's a Twinnings exclusive. Wow, mm, look at all that deliciousness. It's shrimp. Very awesome. Beautiful. Okay, so now comes the food part. Um, we got some an English high tea for you today. So uh, we're starting with uh, an egg salad sandwich on white bread. We got a curry chicken salad on a swirl, a pumpernickel swirl. We got a cheese and pickle sandwich, which is an Irish cheddar, sharp cheddar, with some Branston pickle, which is an English sharp vegetable pickle. It's very brown and dark and it's tangy, pungent. And then we got poached salmon and cucumber sandwiches. On, that one's on rye bread. Um, these are all traditional fillings. We make all the fillings in house. They're homemade. Curries are homemade. Everything's fresh. Fresh bread. Fresh cut this morning. Chef's mm -hmm. got up right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, mm -hmm. um, the curry chicken salad is interesting. It's um, actually called coronation chicken. Um, curry uh, mayonnaise, curry powder, um, diced chicken. We have some golden raisins some mango chutney. It was actually created in 1953 for the Queen Elizabeth's coronation. So they called it coronation chicken. It was created for that celebration. So we incorporated that into the sandwiches. So we got some English traditions and um, French and pickle. Can't go wrong with that. As as it comes. All right, so enjoy your sandwiches. Enjoy it. We've got some iced tea to go with it. And I'll be back out later for the second course, okay? So what do you have there first? The egg salad? Egg salad? The sandwiches will last because it's probably yeah. well, wow. Onion. Excellent. Thank you. Scaling. Green onions. Oh, green onions. Really good. This is the chicken curry. This is the chicken curry sandwich. I'll try that right now. Some spice. No, it's more mild. Mild. Like a creamy. Mm -hmm. This is the smoked salmon. I've already enjoyed my egg salad, my chicken curry. This one I didn't care much for. But, you know, everybody has their own unique taste. But I actually enjoy pickles normally. It just wasn't my thing. This. Mm -hmm. You like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice and mild flavor. So we've just been informed that the flowers are edible. We're going to sample them right now. I'm not sure which ones they are. So we're going to sample them. They're the from edible. the land, they said. Too. Yeah, they're from the land. Oh, I love so this one's a little sweet. It's nice. Oh, mm -hmm. It almost smells like a root, like a light scented rose. Mm -hmm. Looks like. This one doesn't have much of a scent, but once I taste it, I'll probably smell it. We were just thinking, mm -hmm. right, is it called PG Cakes because the tea bags have like a pyramid? This one smells a little, it tastes a little bit like maybe like a light arugula, like a baby arugula. Oh, okay. It's got a little bit of like spice to it. So, so far we've sampled our first two teas, and we've had our first two. Good offering. And so far, everything's been really good. Very, very much enjoying this experience. Imagine we're going to do the best tea. I love Canada. So, what do you have there? Green tea with pomegranate, strawberry, and raspberry flavor. Mm -hmm. And so green tea is a crumb sauce for me. Mmm, very crazy. The next one we've got here for you today is going to be wine green tea with pomegranate, raspberry, and strawberry flavors. Tell me about your camera. I'm getting ready to time in here. Are you doing here? This is the important two minutes. I think it's sweet enough with the flavors of the berries in there. That one doesn't matter. Two Flipping over the timer. Oh, green tea. What's that? Pour your water. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
these are going to take Getting behind after. Yeah, you're going to be yeah. after. <laughs> Ten sand grains later. <laughs> Sounds like the green tea is less is better. <laughs> less steeping time. See, you can see on top there. I think yeah, I showed it. Mm -hmm. See what we're doing. It's cool. awesome. I'll give it back what to the. the one on the right? I want to that? That's the herbal tea. Oh, so okay. that's the chamomile. Yeah. What's really cool? I wonder if they have those in the shop. There are apps. Oh, wow. Right? Wow. Oh, really? Very good. That's even with a whole culture. Oh my gosh. Green tea. It has a nice aroma. Very nice aroma. Two minutes. This is our second course at tea time. So now we have the second course, which is going to be uh, homemade scones. We have a plain scone and we have a fruit scone. Uh, the servings, the accompaniments are going to be a strawberry jam and a clotted cream, fresh clotted cream. Um, Clotted cream, unfortunately, is so great, but so bad. <laughs> what they do is they take the heaviest, highest fat cream content of cream, and they boil it. Mm -hmm. And then what they do is they skim off all the top, which is really basically the fat, and then they reserve that, and they throw it away and all the other water and, the, and the, 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 the other solids. And all you've got is pure creamy fat. So it's just indul <laughs> indulge for today, and then don't eat anything for the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's worth it. Right. And you have to put the jam down first and then the cream. Right? No, you don't. You're supposed to put the cream first and then the jam. But people argue in England, they're like, no, you can't the way. So it's your tea, you do what you want. But I like cream down first and jam on top. It's like I disagree. Prefer the jam and then the cream. So you can do it both There's always ways. one. Always <laughs> one. But you enjoy it however you want. Try both. You've got two scones. Try one. Then <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not skim milk. I'll put it over. Okay, I'm doing the cream and the jam. I don't care what he Well, you said it's your tea. Do what you want. <laughs> it's a base, and then the jelly is icy. <laughs> Now, what kind of scone did he say that was? We are giving us a nice little sachet of the teas that we've sampled here today to take home with us. It's really nice. So we had an excellent tea time today at the Rosen Crown, and we are currently headed in to Twining's Tea to check out what they have available for purchase. Look at all this deliciousness. Some nice looking liqueur truffles. Some hard candies, lots of chocolate. Look who's over here. Cool. Tea sets. Here's the rabbit. Healthy rabbit. Traditional. Oh, there's a tea pot. It's always tea time. That's what she said. Here are all of the tea selections. I have never seen so many tea boxes in my life of different varieties. It must be priceless. It must be. <laughs> oh, here. Um, one here. 20. Here we go. 20 count. Here. One for 5.95, four for 20. That's a pretty good so deal. Four is a good deal. If you can fit it in your suitcase, mm -hmm. it's a great deal. Some more tea. And 
more tea. Some cold brew tea. This is so oh, cute. Oh, what do you have there? Big Ben. And I'm pretty sure that's Peter Pan. Yeah. Let's see. You can fly. Oh, that's adorable. That's awesome. What's in there? Should see in the bottom, maybe. Oh, toffee. English toffee. Oh my gosh, and I have to have that. It's a bank when you're done. Okay, I think I need that. That is adorable. Can I fit it in my luggage? Pack it up, we rolling out. Like 10 is what we dream about. We cruise to the coast, hit the switch, top goes down. Getting cash in every town. Give us green leaves and blue skies. Soak up rays, catch a wave. 10 for the